obviously there's a lot of questions about current events and you've really riled some people up with some of your recent comments, some of your recent reviews. Of, yes, I have. Of AEW and NXT. Well, they riled me up. Let me ask you one of them. Actually, I haven't riled anybody up with anything I've said about NXT because the, at least their fans are not so fucking pussy-ish and butthurt sensitive. And, and maybe it's because I, maybe AEW, when they say we're inclusive, it, it, it not only includes all the fucking nerds and butthurt just pussies, but also all the fucking fans get to get in the ring at some type of time or another. That's why they're all butt because they hope, well, if we see Marco Stunt or My Little Dog Pockets or all these other fucking clowns, well, they'll just put us in the ring one day. Whereas when you look at NXT, you, you actually see highly trained athletes, whether they're particularly good at what they're currently doing or not is subject to debate, but they've been highly trained in their athletes. May, and they're, maybe their fans are not so sensitive because I'm not, as Dennis Condry used to say, striking a nerve. Well, you really struck a nerve this past week. There are so many questions. I don't even know which one of these to ask you because it covers a lot. Here, I mean, I'll just read you some of the subject lines. Meltzer well, comparing well, just stunt go ahead to, and do that then. Meltzer comparing stunt to Mysterio, that stunt kid. Marco, Jericho, JR, Meltzer, and Trump. Jericho and stunt. Chris Jericho. I mean, everyone wants to know because obviously after that show, everyone... I shouldn't say everyone, but a lot of people came flying to the defense of Marco Stump before really anything was said. <laughs> oh, God. And well, it's because they knew. And and I replied to a tweet on Twitter, obviously. That And I love Chris Jericho. And, and he, yes, he's their biggest star. And they're paying him a lot of money. I, he could have just not said anything, but, you know, and left it alone. But, and I'm sure the kid's a nice kid and he's been around the kid. Oh, he gets a good kid. Whatever the fuck. I, there's, you know, he's trying to encourage, I don't know what the fuck. He's, he's also cashing the check. But he said, well, I remember when people said I was too small to be, no, Chris, you're still five foot fucking 10 and we're 200 and something pounds. And you were actually more jacked when you were, 23 and came to Knoxville or whatever than you are now. Um, it, it, yes, people have said Ricky Morton was too small and look how that turned out, but it's still plausible. It's still visually acceptable. It's not ridiculous. And Ricky Morton has a hundred pounds on Marco stunt. It is so, and, and then Meltzer and I love Dave too. Poor uncle Dave. I just worry about whether or not he's at this point. Should be we be worried that Dave may be the victim of elder abuse? Is somebody not giving him his medication because he continues to say, "Well, they, they didn't compare him to Rey Mysterio. They said the same thing about Rey Mysterio." And he retweeted Jericho's tweet saying, "Hey, good, good for you, kid. Live your dream." And they said, "I was too small," and blah blah blah. And said and made the comparison to Rey Mysterio. And I just tweeted, because I know both these guys, and I don't want to fucking cuss them, but God damn it. I said, God damn, would you just quit? Would you just quit? It's fucking stupid and ridiculous. No, you can't compa compare Marco fucking's stunt fuck to Rey Mysterio, who was a tiger level. Le tiger mask level like fucking phenomenon and had a cool superhero fucking mask and outfit and bodily not when he was in mexico when he was 14 but if, if marco stunt was ever going to grow up to look like ray mysterio does now he would he would have done it by now it's not the same thing it's a fucking gymnastic kid doing phony bullshit that everybody knows is phony instead of fucking Tiger Mask or Rey Mysterio. And it's... <sighs> As somebody else tweeted, if, 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 if everybody gets to live their dream, does that mean because I'm a chiropractor, I can one day be allowed to perform spinal surgery on somebody? even though I don't know how to fucking do it, and it would be ridiculous. 
or it's it, it, it you know it's it's my dream to as I mentioned to be Ron Jeremy and but I didn't have the equipment for that it's a lot of basketball fans dreams to play in the NBA you know and and it's it's as bad and I'm gonna go ahead and say this I've I've stayed away from this fucking kid because it's obvious something's wrong but it's the the people that are encouraging this fucking Marco stunt foolishness, which is not only embarrassing to the business and just stupid on the face of it, but dangerous for this kid, this fucking superhuman kid. I mean, there's uh, uh, Marco stunt and these cosplay wrestlers are just fucking stupid, right? But it doesn't seem to be anything wrong. If you know what I'm saying, I haven't said anything about superhuman because there seems to be something wrong. And so I blame, the, the, he's got to have, there's somebody holding that camera. There's somebody in his life that's in charge of him. <clears throat> they not only let him out of the house, but he let these fucking outlaw mud show promoters book this fucking guy in with the supposed other professionals and everybody can guess who these people are. The scum of the fucking earth, the scum of the fucking solar system, the real bad cancerous contagious worst of the cosplay showbiz performance art fucking goof wrestling crowd work with this kid book this kid somebody's allowing it somebody's allowing him to rip his shirt off and jump off shit onto barbed wire and those people ought to be reported to whoever the fucking local authorities are wherever the fuck this kid lives and everybody, oh look, it's cute. He, oh, it's him. He's and they're and they're retweeting it. And they're oh and, and oh and he's gonna get in a ring and live his dream. Let's just let everybody do it while we're at it. Let's just go find people on the street and whether they want to or not, herd them into a wrestling ring and start just having matches. And maybe if we can get some of them who are confused and don't know what the fuck's going on, pissed off enough about the whole thing, we could have some shoots. Just random shoots with people just shuff, shuffle the people off the street into a fucking ring and fucking whisper something in their ear to make them mad at somebody. Just have random shoots and film that and put that on the internet. And that's pro wrestling. It's the same fucking thing. It's fucking stupid. It's unprofessional. And all the people, whether in the business or in some of these people's lives that are encouraging, enabling, or allowing this can suck my Fucking teeny little white dick. Fuck you. Is what I have to say about wh whatever the fuck question was you asked that got me started on that whole thing. God damn. Oh, and Dave and Jericho. Fuck, guys. Come on, Chris. I know they're paying you a lot of money, and I'm sure he's a nice kid. Jim Ross, and, too. And they're paying Jim Ross probably even more money, and I'm sure he's a nice kid. But goddamn, somebody speak up. It's like it, this is getting as bad as the Republicans enabling Trump and saying nothing and turning their backs, no matter how bad it gets, how stupid it gets, how dangerous it gets, how criminal it gets, how embarrassing it gets, all the fucking verbal effluvia that comes out of his fucking dick liquor. The Republicans, most of few now have started and most of the ones that are retiring because they know the goddamn Republican voters are so fucking stupid and gullible and fucking criminal minded or goddamn fucked up in their own way that they won't reelect them if they tell people the truth that this fucking guy is a goddamn criminal and a liar and a psychopath and a fucking whatever the fuck else he is. Just pick the description. It's the same thing now with people in wrestling that you want to have respect for that will not raise their hand and say no fuck no this has i don't even care whether people buy tickets to this or not i will not be involved in this i will not dignify this with my presence i will not goddamn just go along with and because somebody's a nice guy i will say that uh, that it, this is just all right and that this is not embarrassing and this is not stupid and that this is not disrespectful and insulting to fucking wrestling, whether whether it, it, 
whether it be the previous generation of the invisible hand grenade, now the invisible man is a fuck is old news. Cause now we basically have goddamn promoters and supposed professional wrestlers that will dignify the, the presence of these cosplay fucks and these phony outlaw mud show idiots with their presence. And we have people in the lives of challenged people who will enable them to take part in this shit for their own fucking mysterious reasons. And nobody's just going to goddamn, no, no, hold the fucking phone, pump the brakes. Nobody is going to say this. Does Who the fuck needs a job that bad? Fuck, the more I think about it. And spend, whether it's spending a billionaire's money at that level, or whether it's these fucking mud shows in front of 72 people where they're crashing through light tubes and severing each other's arteries and major nerves and tendons because they fantasize that they can do this shit the way it's supposed to be done. And these delusional fucks have other delusional fucks that look up to them. Charlie Manson had his fans too. At least he was good at what he did. And they will fucking pay and buy a ticket or stream the video or do whatever the fuck. And say, oh, oh, and then the rest of them all in the middle with their little, everybody can participate because this is all inclusive and we don't want anybody to feel uncomfortable and we want everybody to be just happy and all oh, come and look at us do our art. You fucking prissy little fucking jerks. You ha are the ones who have allowed and and fostered the idea and encouraged the idea that all these fucking morons on Twitter that I can't keep track of blocking because they come so fast should have the attitude, oh, it's wrestling. It's supposed to be stupid and funny and dumb and silly. And everybody knows it's fake. They think that's okay. And that's the way you're supposed to look at the business because you pieces of shit that ought to be tied to a fucking rotten, worm-infested fucking log and set on fire with not even the good gasoline, but just a little lighter fluid so the fucking flames would burn less hot and take longer to melt your fucking disease-ridden skin. You ought to be fucking burned at the fucking stake for making these goddamn susceptible idiots think that that's a, a positive way to look at the wrestling business whether you're throwing people around with your dicks or deciding whether you want to have a dick or not, or who's got a dick, or who used to have a dick, or let's quantify all these people. Fuck all of you. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to go along, nor do I have to, nor will I ever, with the wrestling is supposed to be funny, stupid, and silly, and everybody can play. Fuck all of you. What was the question? I actually have moved past that question, but there's another one here, and this is one of the things I've heard people who say, well, Jim, what do you think of this? I'm trying to shove it in your face, so let me ask you. This was sent into corny drive through at gmail.com from CJ. Apparently, the tag match with Marco Stunt and Jungle Boy versus the Lucha Brothers actually grew AEW's viewership for the segment. What does Jim think about this? Well, first of all, I don't believe it. Secondly, it's the fucking ratings, and everybody knows that that's a work. But also, um, for the record, it grew the audience 1.4%. That's So uh, so what was that? 1.4% well, how many, how many of a million people? How many people is that al allegedly supposed to be? If, it's a, if the viewership's a million and it's 1.4%, I don't know if that's how you do it. Okay. <sighs> We've covered ratings here on the program before, but basically, yes, there's a number of boxes, as they used to call them, I don't know if that's the current term, where people are actually wired and give real-time feedback, right? That is supposed, it's like the fucking polls. Plus or minus a fucking uh, uh, margin of error of 3%, right? If 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 two people with boxes switch over, and uh, then that it's just a, a it's an imperfect method that the television industry has always used to try to figure out a way to set ad rates. We don't ever know with any program 
how many people are actually watching it or not watching it. We, but since every program is judged by the same fucking deal, they accept it. And some get better and some get worse treatment because of it. But when you're talking about 1%, it's fucking ridiculous. Nobody knows what I was watching in my home. I've talked about the time when I told the, t the TV uh, sales rep here at WBKI in Louisville that he now he knew that our business was work and now I knew his business was work because they had a transmitter problem didn't send the first 15 minutes of OVW to any of the to the cable system to broadcast just sent it out over the antenna over the airwaves and that was highest rated quarter hour of the fucking program it's bullshit maybe people looked at it as a car wreck Maybe people turned it on and said, well, why, why is that child wrestling, these fucking masked people? But no, a fucking variance of 1% in a fucking 15-minute quarter hour does not mean that anybody tuned into Marco Stunt on purpose. That's not how television works. That's not how wrestling works. If you have The Rock and you get a bump of 600,000 viewers, that's because you had The Rock. If you get a change of 1% in whatever your rating is from one quarter to the other, that means a couple people got up to take a shit. All right. Well, I'm yeah. sorry. That's just, you know, we could get Bill Barron's on here to fucking do 30 minutes on that same thing. And he would end up with that same line. 